Hello again guys, I have a fun one for you today. Google has gone ahead and rolled out the initial preview builds of Android N. So as you can see here, I've gone ahead and flashed this onto my Nexus 5X. They released the preview builds a little bit earlier than anticipated. Normally they go through all of this at Google I.O. But as you can see, it has just popped up on my device. This device is enrolled in the Android beta program. The program allows Android developers and enthusiasts to try out pre-release versions of Android N. To opt out, go here. So I thought I'd just very quickly walk you through this whole first setup process, take a little bit of a look around. I don't know a huge amount about Android N quite yet. I know a few of the things that have changed, but let's just explore a bit. So we hit OK. And this is our setup screen. We have vision settings that's flashing at me. Let's take a look at that. Magnification, font size, display size, and talkback. So you can customize this for some accessibility. Emergency button, just in case you have an emergency while you're setting up your phone on Android in preview. You can change your language to all of these different languages, in my case defaulting to American English. Keep in mind, if you choose to flash this onto your device, you are going to have to OEM unlock it if you have not already, and it is supposedly going to completely wipe out your device. This is not an OTA update, this is a full flash, it's going to wipe it bare, so just be aware. Let's go through this though. Insert SIM card. No. Set up the Nexus 5X. Of course I want it to be a new device. Connect to a Wi-Fi network. Done and done. Connection checked. Software updates checked. Checking info. Add your account. Skip that too. Again, just going through the whole setup, we're skipping the things that we've already done before, and it's complaining that you're not going to be able to do everything without it. All right, I'll put it in. All the traditional Android setup stuff so far. It's asking me to set up the fingerprint unlock again. I'm not going to do that just yet. It's asking if we want to get additional apps, set up emergency information, or do it later. What additional apps can we do? Oh, there's all sorts of Google stuff to do there. No, we won't do that just yet. Say so do it later from settings. And we're at the welcome screen, ready to get started. Now I will say this is an interesting wallpaper, not familiar with this. Let's see if there's anything new in terms of wallpapers. Appears to be an awful lot of the same so far. This is something that will be changed over time, obviously, but we'll just leave it alone on that. Anything new and fun in the widgets area? Clocks, contacts, drive, Gmail, Google apps, Google, 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 the hard word to say over and over again. No, nothing new, nothing different that I can see. One thing that has changed pretty significantly is the notification panel. So when we swipe down, you can see it is much, much more flat. So you have setup complete, updates available, and then we swipe down a second time, and this looks a little bit more familiar, but the notifications are still there and they're different. Not gonna say whether they're good or bad, they're just different. You do also have the ability to swipe back and forth between the quick settings tiles. I don't recall if that was available in 6.0 or not, but you can hit edit here and make changes to it, add new tiles, take tiles away, swipe away notifications if you don't want them, accept them if you want to do them, clear all. And then like I said, you do have a few of these quick settings tiles up at the top if you want to do those, or you can see all of them by swiping down. We have Google and Play folders now. So Google has a bunch of Google apps. Play has all of the play related things. Kind of odd they're separating it out like that, but okay. Here's the list of our installed apps. So basically just all Google things. You would expect it to be very bare. Android Pay is still there, of course. Moving on into our settings. This looks quite a bit different to me. You have suggestions at the top now. That's an interesting one. So you do have the suggestion to set a screen lock and to change your wallpaper. You've got wireless network information, device information, with little bits, little tidbits of information on each one. I'm liking, actually, I'm liking that pretty well. All of your personal information section. Basically, it's the same sort of layout. It's just flatter. It, it doesn't have as much of the material shadow design. It's much more paper flat design now. Then we go into the about phone section. You can see Nexus 5X. Android version in, patch level March 1st, kernel version 3.10.73, there's your build number down there at the bottom, and if we tap on the Android version a bunch of times, it takes us to a big N. We can tap on that a bunch of times, and then hold on it, and it looks like we get the same game. This may change before the final release, but there we go. We got a little Android and a bunch of marshmallows, the same as we had with Android Marshmallow. Let's take a quick look at our multitasking window. We hit the button here. There's our multitasking, same as it was before. Unfortunately, still no clear all button. I really like that on other devices and I'm not seeing it here, but you can just swipe them away when you're done. And it looks like we do still have the ability to do Google Now on tap, so if we hold the home button, it does flash the whole thing. It says, wanna help on any screen, turn it on. Okay, and we're gonna set up Google Now and get started. So now if we hold the button on it again, there it is. Welcome to Now on tap, here's Google Now. And because this is the Google Now launcher, we can always swipe to the left and there's Google Now. And you come right back, there you go. 
So there's all our Google Now information, same as it has been since they updated it. This should have Google Messenger pre-installed, now in addition to Hangouts, because they really want you to use that as your SMS app. And there's supposed to be the ability to do split screen. Let me go look that up real quick. And from an article I just read, apparently to enable the split screen multitasking, it's actually done in that recent apps window. You just have to have several apps open. You go into the split screen multitasking window, and there are supposed to be buttons up here if it's available for that app. But unfortunately, it does not appear to be there at the moment. There should be a little button up here in the top right corner that looks like a box that would split it to one half of the screen or the other. So if I had to guess, they have not implemented that quite yet. But I think that's a good first look at the new Android N preview build. As there are more updates, I may make more videos about this if you're interested in seeing it. As always, though, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to leave a thumbs up below if you like this video and subscribe to receive more videos when they become available. And we'll see you again next time. If you live in an area where you rely upon Band 12, and I heard this an awful lot from people when I was doing the review of the OnePlus X, this is not going to work on Band 12, at least from what I've read. It does not have 5G.